Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, is there a way to get around an ignition interlock device or IID requirement in Florida? In Florida, if you've been convicted of a DUI, then by statute the court must, it has no alternative, but to order installation of an IID device in your car for a period of time. If you have a first DUI with breath above 0.15, the minimum requirement is six months of an IID. On a second with breath below 0.15, it's a minimum of a year. On a second with breath above 0.15, it's a minimum of two years. On a third, it's a minimum of two years regardless of what your breath is. And on a fourth or more, it's a minimum of five years. If an IID is required as a condition of probation, then the court can waive that condition. But such a waiver is only going to apply to court and it will not apply to DMV. So even if court waives your IID, meaning that your probation cannot be violated for failure to comply, DMV is not affected. And DMV can, and they will, suspend your driving privilege unless and until you comply. Further, because Florida DMV treats all DUIs as if they had occurred in Florida, even a prior out-of-state DUI can result in an IID requirement and suspension in Florida. The bottom line with Florida DMV is that dealing with them is very much like struggling against a rip current. If you swim with it, your chances increase. If you fight it, you're likely to drown. Still, there are two ways around DMV's IID requirement. The first is, if you drive a work vehicle, and if you have written permission from your employer, and if you have that written permission form in your work vehicle at all times that you're driving while working, then you can lawfully operate an employer's vehicle for job-related purposes without an IID. The second way is if you have a provable medical condition, such as a bona fide pulmonary condition, which precludes medically your ability to use an IID. But for this, you're going to have to apply to DMV for a medical waiver. Your application is going to have to be filled out by a doctor and DMV is going to scrutinize the hell out of it and they may even require you to submit to an independent medical examination in order to secure a waiver. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.